While growing up, I had loads of great shows to watch, like Rugrats and Spongebob and The Mr. Bean Show. And that's just to name a few, but how come, no matter what, I'll always remember a show that's really horrifying from my childhood, and it's always cringy animation from the early 2000s. And this show, I can tell you, it's nostalgic nightmare fuel for me. Going back and watching it genuinely made me feel queasy. I'm talking, of course, about The But Ugly Martians. And going back and watching the first episode, I came to wonder, how am I not in therapy for this shit? Starts off with our three main Martians, named Bebop, Aluna, Tutti Fruity, <laughs> and Doo Diddy. Which, now saying that out loud, sound like failed SoundCloud rappers. This horrifying 2000s animation make them all look like a horrifying crackhead's fever dream. And when I go to sleep tonight, my nightmares are going to be full of them. People, these are my sleep paralysis demons. See them in the first scene trying to send fake transmissions, with the effort as a low budget porno, which I guess they're sending it to their alien overlord? Meanwhile, in the next scene we see- WHAT THE FUCK IS THAT?! That looks like a piece of chicken breast stretched over a sex doll! And what we've learned so far is I guess this abomination is called Mike. Now remember Mike, no one is allowed in the house while we're gone, we're trusting you! Don't worry, I'll- And Mike is saying goodbye to his parents, because in a kid's cartoon, that means nothing can go wrong. Speaking of something going wrong, why does this house look like a bodge boob job? Holy shit! That dog looks like he could pick up Russian frequencies! Or hopefully, find out where my wife and kids are. Karen, come back please. I miss the kids. We also come to find they live in an abandoned arcade. In an abandoned part of town. Which really fits the tone of the show. Run down, and around every corner there's someone lurking with a knife. And you know what I also want to know? Why are they using old arcade machines as computers, even though it's set in the future? Speaking of the future, why the fuck are they using CDs? Please, never let the 2000s come back. Because if they do, I'm going to game end myself. Oh god, why does do I run like a child predator? You know what? This show genuinely makes me feel uneasy, but I can't stop watching so far. It's oddly hypnotic. Going back to Mike and his synthetics from Alien, are talking about the Martians and they call them the but ugly. I have nothing to say about this, but I find it fucking hilarious. Also, they seem to give no fuck about their planet being invaded too. They're just okay with it. Yeah, if they don't file that report on time, Emperor Bog might invade us with troops who really want to conquer Earth. This show feels like an LSD trip. The intro makes me want to vom. B K M B K M B K M B K M. But it's also catchy as fuck, and I hate the fact when I heard it, I instantly remembered most of the lyrics from my childhood. We don't really want a war. We just wanna send the poor. What the fuck is that? Kill it! Kill it with fire! The Overlord's right hand man, Damage, looks like a Nazi doctor on crack, and nothing else can describe him. Okay, in this bit, Mike says he's worried about damaging his dad's equipment, but proceeds to beat it like Chris Brown does with every single one of his girlfriends. <laughs> Look at me like that again, and I'll see you in court. And we're back with Damage, and now he wants to fuck Claptor. Beautiful eyes, no. And this show is sending me back to my therapist for further trauma. That robot is going to be incarcerated by the police the way he's going. <laughs> what are you trying to get rid of us? You look like a fucking shoe. Leave my house or I'm getting the gun. Lee, ugly aliens. Three of them. It's an invasion and they're victimizing young citizens. I feel like this show has a ton of political undertones and it's oddly put in a 2000s kids cartoon. On second thought, why did the Martians look like Tyler 1? <laughs> Holy shit, he just fucking died! Wait, 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 wait. Why did he just read the back of the note? Okay, okay, why is the walking nutsack now talking? The Martians do not really give two shits about human life. They just fucking put a man in danger to stop a hunk of metal in the back of the garbage truck. Wait, I recognize that garbage truck from somewhere. Wait, how did he get hit? He had like fucking ages to move. Fucking hell, I feel like I'm having a brain aneurysm. <laughs> he went from a 30 year old virgin to a 90 year old virgin in the matter of seconds. Why did his voice change like that? Wait, I didn't sign up to watch a low budget Power Rangers show. If I wanted to do that, I would have just watched the new Power Rangers film. Is that what the Kardashians say when they wake up? Wait, if they could do that from the start, why didn't they do it when they first saw it? This show has a lot more plot holes than you'd think. Ah, uh, yes, because a space age alien robot has a DVD player in it. Then during a dramatic fight, Mike has a seizure. Oh God, I feel so dirty after watching this show, but it's still oddly nostalgic. I'm gonna go have nightmares and speak to my therapist about the trauma I just fucking went through. 
please subscribe and comment your favourite show that kind of creeps you out as a kid. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Right, after all of that, I need something else to watch. Let's change the channel. Oh, what the fuck?